All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Solutions Corner with Carolyn and Matt. Uh, Carolyn and I are part of the solution team here at Reich, where we get the chance to work together on a lot of exciting projects, most of which are really focused on helping our customers achieve excellence within the Reich platform. And that leads us into this web series and a question. What, what are we hoping to accomplish here, Carolyn? Yeah, Matt, thanks for asking. So, you know, we hear from our customers all the time about how flexible the Reich platform is. And, you know, they want to know how can we do things better? How are others doing things? And how can we bring the most value to the customers in the quickest way? Yeah, that's the top question I hear is how's someone else doing this? Or, you know, what's a better way to achieve this? So our team's really taking that mission on our shoulders this year. And we want to create these solution enabling packages, right? To support some of these different asks and best practices and create them in a way that um, anyone can add them to the right environment. Yeah, and the best part that we're so excited about is that we are actually giving away every solution that you're gonna see in this series of videos for free. Yeah, no strings attached, um, uh, maybe one small string. You do have to fill out a right request form. Should be no surprise there, but it's linked below. But that'll that'll just help get you connected with our team and make sure that um, we don't lose track of any requests. But um, fill out that request form, and we will get the solution in your hands. So why don't we jump into our first solution, Carolyn? Yeah, and let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Cover one here that impacts every team, every department, every company and all the way down to the individual too. And that's a solution for strategy, goals, and OKRs. That sounds great. Let's have a look at what you built. Yeah, let me pull it up here. Okay, so while this loads, um, I'll, I'll set the stage a bit. So one of the questions we've been getting a lot recently is with Microsoft Viva Goals getting sunset, um, a lot of customers are wanting to know, hey, can we use Reich to do our strategic planning and goals and, and some of the similar functionality? And, you know, where we shared, Carolyn, too, another question we often get is, how does Reich do this? And well, as it turns out, um, it's, it was easy to build a solution that could actually solve both. Um, if you're using Microsoft Viva Goals and you want to um, fill the gap for that product with Reich, or you want to do your goals in a, a way that, you know, is known and repeatable, um, this solution was designed specifically for that. So jumping in, then we start with the dashboards, right? So I'm here within a dashboard we built. The idea with this dashboard is to be able to look at um, our objectives, key results, and all the way down to our personal goals. So here at the company level, I've got all of the reporting against the objectives. So we could see all of the objectives in our company. Well, we could see who owns them, where, where they're at from a progress standpoint. Um, and, and just be able to have that visibility. So the idea would be you could share this company wide um, and anyone in the company could come in and see where we are from an objective standpoint. Then we could jump into the department. This is where we align the key results, right? So um, each team or department could have their own KRs that align against those company objectives. So it's similar here, right? Once again, a dashboard that can be consumed by anyone where we could see all of the results, where they're at, any are at risk, and then just understand the breakdown by department, status, um, so on and so forth. And then the third piece that I'm really excited about is the personal goals, right? Because something that's always true is like you, you, you could have the strategic goals and the department work, but we all do a lot of things every single day. And uh, there's a lot of times that these get um, uh, can contribute directly to those goals. And something that I've hated in the past is when I've worked on something and then it gets to the end of the quarter and I'm like, oh, what's everything I did that contributed to the goal? And I got to go search through email or my calendar, places like that. This makes it easy, right? I could build my yeah. own personal goals and and then once again, align these up against strategy. I love the visibility and the simplicity, but also having everything in one place, Matt. This looks fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That was the thought, like this one dashboard where um, you could see everything. And these personal goals, they'll only show my personal goals. Like if you logged into this, Carolyn, you're not going to see my goals. You'll only see your own, right? So it, the idea was a one-stop place to go for strategy. Now, from a, 
from a, a strategic imperative standpoint, one of the things we do from Rank is we set some of these broader strategic imperatives that even our objectives need to align against. So I also built another dashboard for that just to give everyone that opportunity. So here within the strategic imperatives, you could see we have these um, large, broad strategic imperatives that we want all of the OKRs or personal goals to march against and a similar dashboard, right? Where you could see where those are at and understand um, um, you know, the value that they're ultimately providing for the organization. I love that you have the multi-year calendar in here as well. So you can see how things are tracking up to like that long range plan. I would have loved this as a customer, Matt. Yeah, yeah. That, and I think that's something different about strategic imperatives, right? And I'll jump here to the calendar view um, to just show that a little bit more, right? Not always, but most often, typically the objectives and key results, we usually see those within a single calendar year, right? Like where, where we're doing something within a specific calendar year. But the strategic imperatives, that's where we're, we see more of that multi-year, right? We have a multi-year strategy, um, something that, that just might not run uh, in a, the convenience of a single fiscal or calendar year. Um, so that's where that new multi-year calendar here is phenomenal, right? Because I could have an imperative that runs all the way to 2027. I could see objectives that align. And then as you start building this up year after year, right, you could see things that, that go across um, um, multi-years with it. And then even down to the bottom, show how we could tag projects, right? So we're showing the strategy and goals, but ultimately I think what we all want to get to is what's the work we're doing that contributes to this. Right. So, and do we have enough worth feeding to actually deliver on our objectives? Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a and if and if it is running, is it on time, on scope within budget, you know, along those that, that standpoint. So really having that visibility um, from that top level down. That's great. I love how this looks. Um, can you actually, you know, give us a little look into the underlying structure of how you design this um, for, you know, for the teams to use? Yeah, so. I've got a pretty simple folder structure here. Um, the, the the thought processes just didn't want to make this too complex and make it really easy to jump into and adopt. So I start with future strategy planning. Um, the idea here that I did that I think is important is to actually turn on selective sharing. So if I come in here, um, this folder has only been shared with the executive team right here. So the idea is, you know, whoever that team is that designs and decides what your strategic goals are going to be, you don't want to release those out to the entire company until they've actually been formalized and planned. So by selectively sharing this folder, you could keep it to the, say, the executive team, maybe their VPs, right, really who are working on the plans. Beyond that, we also have current year strategy. So this is what's, once those goals are finalized, they move here. But the, the power is you don't have to spend time in this view. Where you spend time is in these dashboards, right? Because they're pulling directly from that view. So once you get everything built, you move it, um, you move over to these dashboards and it's automatically going to populate with that information from- um, I love that. What about, um, you know, check-ins and annual reviews? Like how can this solution support, you know, measurement? Yeah, so that was one more tool I built here. So it's a tool here over on the side, right? Called the check-in process. What I was envisioning is once again, you have, um, this would go out for anyone that owns a strategic item, whether it's an objective key result or even just down to the personal um, goal. So what this is doing is this is filtering against anything that I own. So as part of that quarterly check-in process, if you do quarterly, monthly, whatever that cadence is, I can actually come in here and, and do quick updates for um, anything that I'm responsible for. So maybe I put in the specific targets, what my numbers are, um, the scoring could be automated, but I really wanted to make this simple, right? So you have a, a one-stop place to come for your objectives, your key results, and then of course, any personal goals that you have too. Thanks, Matt. That was a fantastic overview. Um, so for all of you, here's what you can do next. If you'd like to try the solution, please fill out the request form below. One of us from our solution team will get back to you. If you'd like to see the solution more in depth, we have a longer video um, about the solution actually posted on the right community in the solution corner section. Or if you'd like to discuss or give any feedback, please use the comments or join us at the community. Thank you so much.
Thanks, everyone.